Alright guys, the next tutorial on Lunar Magic. Today we'll be learning the movement and events in Super Mario World. And if you don't know what that is, I'll show you. If we go to the Overworld Editor screen, and we scroll down a little bit, we see the first map. Hold on, let me just refresh this. Alright. This is what you would see at the first map. Nothing unusual or anything. As we know, when you beat the first level, most of you, I haven't got comments on this yet because no one's been viewing my videos at this time, but most of you, when you edit the overworld like this, after you beat the first level, say you change the overworld and everything, you, you move the first level somewhere and you change this map completely, then all of a sudden, as we traverse stuff like wait a minute, wait a minute, hills are rising, the lands are going back. It's like the normal thing. How do I get this to go away? That's what we'll be working on today. So if we go up to this little ghost house with the sparkle on it and push page down. Alright, you'll this is what you'll see first. Go page up, you'll see this opens up the yellow switch palace. And page up. Say we don't want these hills to rise. So we see the hills. Oop. Hold on. Wrong one. Click on the hill, of the hill of the sparkle, and you see the hills. The hills that are rising. All right. Say we don't want the hills to rise. Let's we just push delete. Page up, and then you don't. So now when we play more Super Mario World, those hills won't rise. And if we save that, these hills won't rise when you beat the first level. Say you want the path to show up. You just do the same thing. When it's like when it's done, you just push delete. When it's done, well, now when it's in red, and I want that hill to rise, and I don't want you to rise. All right. I don't know why I'm saying all right. But that's how you edit the um, movement events and how to. Uh, change that now what else am I going to do that was actually pretty short um I talked about screen exits sprites and objects I got the big thing out of my movement events um message blocks message blocks there are sprites so we go to sprite editing mode we click on the purple Yoshi and we go find a message block Searching for a message block. Purple message block. Um, here it is. You see one, and you would right click on the level to make it appear. But And so if we go over, and I'm pretty sure there's one in here somewhere that Nintendo put in. Um, also, as another way Mario can enter in, shooting from a slanted pipe, which you can put in. You can also modify the midway entrances. Alright, let's just delete that one. Alright. Now we can add one in. And we see this is number one. You can only have two in a level. You have number one, and if there's a second one in here, I don't know. And number two. This is level 105, and this is number one. So if we go back to the overworld screen and we click the message block, you see this, and this is everything that this is all the text that happens in Super Mario World. That's the one you see when you first enter the the game when after you choose your um player, and this is the one that happens after you do Yoshi. I don't know what these are. These are levels that have not been used probably, Ghost House and so on. The level comes first, then the message block next to it. So if we go down to number 501, this is what the first one would say. 1051. Say I don't want it to say this. Let's say, let's make this one say, Hi, I'm hungry. Said the tomato. Is it an eating tomato? Oh, no, but you push OK. Then you would save your overworld. And 
and it will work. So now this one will say, hi, I'm hungry. And let me just pause this for a minute and get my Z-SNES up. And just pause it on on that image so you can see it. Alright guys, I'm back. After a few deaths and have to restart Z-SNES, you can see only half my screen. I can't move Z-SNES up. Perhaps it won't work. But you can see it says, I, I'm, I'm hungry, said the tomato. So that means it's saved. So let me just close out Z-SNES. It'll be there in a little bit. All right, there it goes. And that's how we edit. Oop. Uh, and now, um, that's how we edit the movement events and the message blocks. This has been Shadow Spark, and hopefully this is my last Lunar Magic tutorial video. If anyone has any questions, concerns, uh, think you think I said something wrong, which I probably did, because I've been talking so fast in my other videos. I'm sorry. Um, again, that this is the last one of my Lunar Magic videos. Um, if I think of anything else, there'll be more out there. But this is my last Lunar Magic video. Um, hopefully, I will have some other stuff out there pretty soon. And goodbye, and I will see you next time.